Hi guys, I'm Veronique Vakari Barnes and I am so excited to be a part of Poosh Your Wellness. I have known the Poosh team for a very long time. Courtney and Sarah and Sam and I have been friends since the early 90s. And they have asked me to come on today to show you guys some fun upcycling DIYs of random things in your house that you can turn into really cool crafts because I'm crafty. All right, let's get started. I love to spring clean and I have a messy desk, so this is the perfect way to organize your desk. I'm gonna take these cans and I'm going to show you how to make a chic desk organizer. So you need a piece of wood. You can get this at a craft store. I'm gonna take my different sizes of cans and I'm gonna organize them like this. This is the lid for this, so that was great. And the first step is to get the labels off of the cans. You can use an X-Acto knife, and if you need, adhesive removal. And once you wash the cans, the labels become easier to take off. So I'm just gonna use this industrial strength adhesive for the bottom, you can get this at craft stores and sometimes they have it at drug stores in like the hardware department. This is really strong and dries fast, so that's good. Then you're just gonna place the can on the wood. So we'll let that dry, and then we're gonna take it outside to spray paint it. So now that it's all spray painted, we are gonna put our items in it. I love having an upcycled craft on my desk because it really makes me feel like I'm a part of the solution in helping our planet. I love a summer salad, and I found the best way to make my oil and vinegar look super chic. So let me show you how I do it. So you have your wine bottles, and we're gonna take off the label with an X-Acto knife. You start on the edge. I like to use some adhesive remover. So I spray that on and it makes it easier. We got the labels off the bottle. Looks beautiful. And now we are going to put the oil and vinegar in the bottle. So I use this little funnel it makes it easy to pour in and it's not messy at all. So you can get these reusable bottle tops at pretty much any store. They're great because they're great for pouring and they seal the bottle really nicely and they look good. And then you can get these little labels. I like to use um, chalk markers because if you make a mistake, you can just erase it really easily. There it is. They look good in the kitchen. I like them. I'm a busy mom and things tend to get stained a lot, so I found a really cool way to upcycle some stained linens with tie-dye. I love tie-dye. So this is how we do it. So you're gonna need rubber bands and I like to start in the middle, like this, and you pull the napkin up like that, and then you can start to put the rubber bands on. And there's really no wrong way to do it because the more wild the rubber bands are, I feel like sometimes the better the tie-dye. So now I'm gonna do the placemat that is stained. 
So there's two ways you could do it. You could just roll it this way, like fold it over each other and then put the rubber bands on. But I, for some reason, really still like this like middle part where you make it kind of a cone shape and then you put the rubber bands around the top. You can make little, little, little cone shapes in other places too and then just apply the rubber band. You just pinch the fabric and then put the rubber band on. The more rubber bands you put on, the more patterns you'll end up having. I like to put a bunch on. <laughs> I love tie-dye. I just feel like it's so fun and colorful and it's happy and it's very 90s. It just brightens up any area that it's in and adds a good pop of color to the home. They look like little creatures. <laughs> so now that I've got my little creatures and I've got the rubber bands all set up to go, I picked up the fabric dye at a craft store and you can pretty much get tie-dye kits at any craft store in every color, like rainbow colors, but I find that the fabric dye is better for the more muted colors and they create a more elevated vibe. So I am gonna protect my countertop with some plastic because uh, the fabric dye is serious and it's hard to get out. So I usually just put that down like this and then I have some gloves. I like to put two on because sometimes these are thin and they rip. And that way your hands don't turn different colors. So once I have this laid out, I'll start with the placemat. And I put them in these little squeeze bottle with some warm water and you can mix it up. And then you slowly just start to put the dye in the areas where the fabric is tied with the rubber bands. And when there's like a little puddle like this, it's good to just use the fabric to soak up the dye. You can just go like that and like soak up the dye. I really like to saturate the fabric that's exposed with the dye so it gets a really good contrast. Once all the exposed fabric is covered, then I usually just kind of clean up the rest by doing this. And then it's good to like squeeze it like that so that the dye can go through the middle part. Once it's dry, we'll take the rubber bands out and we will see our creation. Okay, I am ready for my napkin sets now. Sometimes I feel like the napkins tie dye easier because they're just a thinner fabric. So if you wanna mix colors, like do two or three colors, that's awesome too, kind of like my shirt, but I just was into the muted vibe for the linens for the house. All right. So once this dries, we'll get to see what it looks like also. So now that these have all dried, we're gonna take off the rubber bands. I use some scissors. And here it is. Here's our napkin. Once you dye them you, and they're dry, you can wash them, but make sure to wash them in cold water on a gentle cycle, otherwise they will bleed. And sometimes you can even use a little wash bag. And here's another one. <laughs> Here is the placemat. I love how free-formed these tie-dye patterns came out. Definitely will not see the stains now. And your linens are new again. I'm gonna turn these candle tumblers into really cute little makeup jars for my counter and my bathroom. So once the candle is burnt down all the way, there's like that little leftover part with the wick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil some water and then I, I put the candle in the hot water and you, you let it sit for a few minutes. Once it's sat there for five to seven minutes, you can take it out. I like to use tongs because it can be really hot. And then I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna scoop 
the wax right out. Comes out super easy. And we'll put it in the bowl. I'm going to remove the label. Okay, so I got the label off and I gave this a really good wash. And as you can see, it's a really great little jar now. Now we're gonna put supplies in it. I like to put eyeliners, mascara tubes. I think it's really cute to do them in threes because then you can put your brushes in one, your makeup tubes, mascaras, eyeliners, and stuff in another, and then fun cosmetic wands and other tools in the last one. Now my makeup is ready for a shelfie. So castor oil is an amazing beauty secret. It helps your brows grow and makes them beautiful and healthy and full. And I have figured out a cool upcycling DIY to use a mascara tube for castor oil applicator. Let me show you how I do it. So the first thing you wanna do is clean out the remainder of your empty mascara. So I got this cleaner with the reusable straw set that I bought. So we're first just gonna start by cleaning the brush. You know your tube is clean when you pull out the brush and there's no more black. I usually let it sit for like five or 10 minutes. So now that we have a perfectly clean mascara tube, we are ready to put in our castor oil. I use a dropper because it's really easy to put the oil in the tube. Now we're ready to put in our spoolie and we have our castor oil applicator and you put it on at night on your eyebrows and you just brush it through and then they grow beautiful and bushy. So you can also do this with hair gel and you can use the spoolie to get rid of flyaways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us today and watching. I loved being a part of Poosh Your Wellness and I am so inspired by Poosh and the brand and I really hope that you guys are too. Please share the projects with us, tag us. We would love to see what you guys do at home and have some fun upcycling. <laughs> Bye.